In this tutorial, you will learn how to summarize data in Python. Uh, we have a large comma separated value file, or you might save it as x and x, it depends on you. And we have a whole bunch of forex data. So this is the date of trading, and you'll see the closing date of euro to dollar. So one euro would give you 0 0.9 uh, dollar, and this changes over time. So here you have 0 0.8, 0 0.9 again, and a whole bunch of values and so you want to actually summarize this data to actually say something about it so the first thing we're going to do is import pandas uh, library which is a data analysis uh, library and this will allow us to open uh, a csv or an xlsx file so we'll say the data is pandas.readcsv and then we need the actual file name so just copy the file name you have. And then we'll say, let's print out the top five rows. So if we run our program, we have the top five rows here, which is actually the same data as you'd see in here. So the top five rows, and might also get the bottom five using till. So head will give you from the top until uh, from the bottom and n is simply the number of rows. Then we can summarize the whole uh, series of data. So all of this uh, data that goes on and on and on. Uh, we can say uh, we want the column close. That's just uh, the name of this uh, row. So we want the row row close and we want to describe that so let's just call it describe and run the program and now we got a uh, whole bunch of numbers so count is the number of elements so the number of rows we actually have so it's about 140,000 if we go all the way to the bottom you'll see that we're on somewhere in the 140,000 range so that's simply the amount of data then we have the mean, uh, the deviation, the lowest number, as well as the highest number. So it's quite a big difference if you have, if you're trading large amounts and you're trading 0 0.8 or 0 0.9, it's a big difference. And then you got a uh, 50%, uh, 25, and 75. So you can say something about this data set. Um, so it's a very effective way and simple way to describe large amounts of data with simply a few lines of Python code. Uh, you may also want just a single value. Uh, so let's see if we can just do mean. So that gives us the mean and it's the same value as you would see here. So describe, the function describe gives you all of these but you might want only a single one and then you could say dot mean or Maybe you want the lowest amount. So dot min in this case will give you the lowest amount. So see that it's the same. So it's a very simple way to to describe your data set. 